Traveling north? Watch out for the Uthgard Barbarians. With their black hair and blue eyes, they are a hardy stock of humans. Tall, hale, and bloodthirsty folks with heartless dispositions. I have made friends with a few of the Uthgard, and you would be wise to listen to my tale. They speak their own language, Bothai, which has no alphabet but is packed with legends, idioms, and their way of life. They take their name after Uthgar Gordufsson, a hero who arrived on a ship, conquered the north, battled against giants, subjugated mythical beasts, and fell to the Orc Horde before ascending to Godod. While they revered Uthgar, they also honored the totem beast he slew by naming their tribes after them. The Uthgard believe that their ancestors trapped their totem spirits in sacred burial mounds so they would be able to commune with them and be granted power. In this place, they honor their ancestors, make sacrifices, praise Uthgar, and choose their great chief. The Uthgard do not farm, but rather hunt large game such as elk and deer, as well as foraging. Some tribes hunt more lucrative prey, caravans loaded with wares, or the homesteader outside the protection of the Lord's Alliance. Thus, a nomadic lifestyle is the most common form of living for tribes. Aside from their shamans, the Uthgard resent magic so much that they would kill and dismember anyone who practices the art on sight. But if there is one thing that all Uthgard hate more than anything else, it is orcs. Their hatred for the Tuskers is so unrelenting that even when there is an outstanding blood feud between two tribes, they will unite to face an orc horde as one before resuming whatever squabbles they had. There are 13 tribes altogether, but a few have either been vanquished or disappeared, such as the Red Pony and Golden Eagle tribes, who were last seen at their ancestral mound and never heard from again. As of now, there are 11 known Uthgard tribes that still roam the north. The ferocious Red Tiger tribe shares the spirit mound at Bear Rune as well with the Black Lion tribe, who they have a tenuous relationship with. Proudly staying true to their traditions, this tribe sees raiding and pillaging as the way of life and also their greatest pleasure. While the Black Lion tribe only attack the least fortified settlements, the Red Tigers see the outposts of civilization as a prime target. For three generations, the Griffin tribe has vowed to wipe out every city of the north, but as the number of their enemies continue to grow, the tribe has only seen their numbers dwindle. Shunned by the other tribes for their willingness to trade with non Uthgard, spellcasters even, they are the only tribe that maintains a permanent encampment called Griffin's Nest. Near to an artery of the Surbrin River lies their spirit mound shining white. Once civilized, the Black Lion tribe has returned to prowling the northern reaches of the Silver Marches and the Druorwood, protecting the mound they share with the Red Tiger. They had once forsaken the practice of worshipping Uthgar and their totem animal while attempting to live a domestic life of agriculture and trade. Now their leaders have no tolerance for diplomacy, or for the trappings of civilization, even as some continue to live a settled life at Beruna as well. The Sky Pony tribe is a tribe at war with itself. Half the tribe has chosen to stay near their ancestral mound of one stone in the Moonwood, while the other half sees it as an insult to their nomadic tradition. Renowned for their shaggy mountain-bred horses, it is a common quest for a true hero of the Sky Pony tribe to find and ride a Pegasus, as the legendary warriors of the tribe have done before them. The Great Worm tribe was once led by a silver dragon, but after its death, the tribe has been wary of strangers. The tribe now spends most of its days holed up in their ancestral mound of Great Worm Cavern, deep in the spine of the world, where they are in constant battle with orcs. When food is scarce, they raid homesteads in the crags and the Subrin Hills, but it has almost been over twenty years since such raids were last seen. 
The Black Raven tribe build their nest on the peaks of their ancestral mound of Raven Rock, which they share with the Grey Wolf tribe. Deemed the most conservative of the Uthgar tribes, the Black Ravens have never once made peaceful contact with any non-Uthgart. While riding giant ravens, their raiding parties go so far south as Silvery Moon, but favor the caravans that travel the Northern Means and the Blackford Road. The Thunderbeast tribe has been known to be one of the more civilized tribes among the Uthgart, but there have been no signs of them for several years. No one knows whether the tribe has left the north or gone into hiding. Only time will tell if they will be seen again. The Grey Wolf tribe is unique among the other Uthgard, as all of its members are werewolves. To ensure that their gift is not passed on to anyone outside the clan, or packs as they call them, they kill any survivor of their attacks. This has given them a murderous reputation throughout the north. The Elk tribes are natives to the Evermores, but also wander the lands east of the Deserin River and the lower river valleys of the Subrin. Other Uthgard describe them as the most arrogant of the tribes, holding on to their traditions as fierce and savage killers, but are nothing more than bandits shunning civilization. Their spirit mound is a rocky tor in the southeastern Subrin Hills called Flint Rock. The Tree Ghosts tribe have dedicated themselves to be the protectors of the Grandfather Tree in the High Forest, which they have also turned into their ancestral mound. Unlike most tribes, these Uthgard live a peaceful existence with the native elves who share the same forest home. Living among the tree ghosts are members from other Uthgard tribes who have found their way to the Grandfather Tree. These Uthgard would join the tree ghost tribe when they claim to have been enlightened by the tree and are willing to forsake their tribal allegiance to be its protector. The Blue Bear tribe was thought to have been destroyed more than a century ago along with the destruction of Hellgate Keep, but recent sightings of clans around the Limber Vale hint that they might have returned. Perhaps the truth can only be found at their ancestral mound, Stone Stand. Should you encounter an Uthgart in your travels, do not be afraid. Offer a warm campfire and gifts, and you might survive the night. If you can speak both eye, show your awe and appreciation for their culture and prowess. Accept any challenge to let them prove themselves. Show respect in victory, and be rueful in defeat. These may be the steps that will save your life from the hands of the Uthgart, unless you brought any magic with you.